A spoke of the Rainbow Torah promotes music mankind has served on it since those days. A spoke of the Rainbow Torah promotes music mankind has served on it since those days. Jubal or Jabel Jubal, sort of, you know, artificer artifice and things of bronze and iron and pipes and stuff, you know. Musical instruments were in there. We've had the charts a long time in reality. You go back to the early part of the 20th century, there's, there's sort of the latest hits. Go back to Mozart in the 1700s, the latest hits. Go back to the Gregorian monks, the latest hits. You go back to King David playing on his lute or whatever he's playing on, the latest hits. Go back to ancient Egypt with their, their melodies, which you can still get on YouTube, old and ancient Egyptian melodies, the latest hits. It's an aspect of life. The Rainbow Tour is the basic blueprint and structure for mankind's life. And um, the latest hits, uh, the, the spoke of the knowledge of music being filled out, being fulfilled. The knowledge of music being fulfilled. There's only so much knowledge in music. Technically, with sound, it's sort of like, I mean, technically it's infinite. Um, but it's not really discernible, the infinite nature of it, in any major way, by the human he he ear anyway. Because you could have... If God manufactured a, a quintillion little harps playing in harmony and slight variations and things like that in your room and at a certain noise, you, ooh, all that music. Slight variations here and there, you know what I mean? The, uh, the CD is not going to be able to record that. The CD recorder is not going to be able to record all the infinite varieties, going, all the very many varieties going on. We can't really hear the, the variety of that, at that level. Can't really notice it. So technically, musical sound can go on forever, but of discernible, it's mainly that, that data range on the DVD, CD disc. Same with knowledge of visuals and, well, in word, syntax and so forth. There's only so much realistic stuff which we can pick up properly enough. And for music, there's only so many arrangements of those data files, those zeros and ones which you'll get as there, according to Mike Edwards of Jesus Jones, on a CD, and that there's only so much tunage. There's a lot of goodness, a lot of holiness, and there's a lot of chaos, and there's a lot of evil, and there's a lot of very regular, down, ordinary stuff, and a lot of crazy stuff, and all the fullness of knowledge. And... Um, but on, on what we're serving as, as mankind, the musical spoke of the Rainbow Tour, which mankind seems to be doing, with the, ch the chart hits and the new entries week after week, music is being played out. The uh, rock and roll band, the singer-songwriter, etc., they're playing out the, the, the role of getting the music done. Now, the... Uh, that's not all, of course. The Rainbow Tour is history, and the history books are being written. And the Rainbow Tour is uh, a bit of work with, well, carpentry at least, and um, the occupations are being done, aren't they? So, you know, the knowledge is being done in music, on, in DVD, and CD, and book format, and internet. So the knowledge of what the Rainbow Tour says sort of says, this is okay, it's being played out in mankind's history. We're doing it all. And I don't think we're, any, we're, we're quite near finished, really, yet. Copyright's an interesting issue in relation to it, because, you know, you 
carve out a certain field of copyright. That's your patch. But, uh, maybe there's, a, there's an end project at the end of the road and the world to come. Or maybe God recycles it forever and ever and ever. Who knows?